What's going on guys? Justin here and today we're going to be talking about why I went from this to this. So to properly explain this to you guys, we got to go back to Christmas 2012, which is when I got my very first smartphone, the Apple iPhone 5. This is a black Verizon 32GB iPhone 5, and it served me well for the two years on its contract that I spent with it. So it had a perfect screen size for me, it had really good specs, performed very well. I used it from iOS 6 to iOS 8. When iOS 8 came out, it was like recently after that that I got my Note 4. Uh, it was a great phone, it served me well, and I was very happy with it. But towards the end of those two years, I found myself wanting more. So that's when I decided to go to the Best Buy down the street and get my own Samsung Galaxy Note 4. This is a white Verizon 32GB Note 4 and it served me very well for the 4 months that I used it. The 5.7 inch Quad HD display is absolutely amazing. The multitasking features that come with the S Pen are absolutely astonishing, but it's just all the customization that comes with Android like icon packs and launchers and stuff like that. It creates a lot of lag, and that was my main issue with this. So when you partner the customization lag that comes with Android, which is only minor, with the major lag that comes with TouchWiz, you come across a lot of lag. And yes, the Note 4 does have 3 gigs of RAM, which I had no apps whatsoever, just Android and TouchWiz running. I was always using 2.12 gigabytes of the 3 gigabytes of RAM that the Note 4 has. So it created a lot of lag and only allowed me to have a few tabs open at once. And I have to admit, iOS didn't do this. It takes literally nothing to run iOS at this point, and that's why Apple's allowed to get away with low-end specs when compared to, like, Snapdragon 810s and Adreno 420s and 3 gigs of RAM. So last night, I went down to the Best Buy that I got my Note 4 at and got my iPhone 6. This is a Verizon 64GB Space Gray iPhone 6, not the 6 Plus. Everyone was asking me why I'm not getting the 6 Plus. One, this is cheaper, which is always nice, but also I learned from the Note 4 that I don't benefit from big screens as much as I thought I would. This is perfect for me, I can still type on it fine and stuff like that, and right now, this very second, this phone is perfect for me. So the two main reasons I picked up this phone were design and performance, but one thing I found myself using a lot actually, and I thought it would be a gimmick at first, was Touch ID. This is pretty cool. That's pretty sick. So that's going to kind of lead us into the pros versus cons of switching. So we're going to start with pros. Number one pro for me, performance. I haven't encountered lag, I've had multiple tabs open, multiple games, multiple, uh, multiple video applications like that, and I've had all of them open and I've experienced no lag whatsoever. Another pro is design. So Note 4 has a plastic backing with a steel band around the side which does feel premium, however when compared to this it feels like a child's toy to be honest. This is a full piece of aluminum and it feels amazing in the hand and also form factor, I guess that's part of design. Let's just take a moment to admire this really quick. I can't get over that. It feels like nothing in my hand. It does feel slippery. I will be honest, the aluminum does. I'm actually talking to Skin Only right now. I've emailed them a few times. I'm trying to get a carbon fiber skin in like how I have for my Note 4 and stuff like that. Uh, if they don't respond, I'll probably go either pick up a Skin Only or pick up a D brand. Now there's one main con for the Switch, for me at least, and it's this little guy. This is my LG G Watch. I picked it up on Black Friday and it does not work with iOS because it does run Android Wear. It sucks. I really love this watch. Android Wear just offers a lot of features and I found myself using most of them. And uh, I am actually going to be getting a Pebble though. I think so. I'm like 99% sure. But I can't decide between black and red so leave a comment down below. Should I get the black Pebble or the red Pebble? Or should I try something weird and get like orange? So that's pretty much it for this video guys. If there's any iPhone 6 products you want to see me feature on the channel, leave them down below. I prefer if I could receive them through review units, but if it's something I need to go out and spend a bit of money on, if you guys want to see it, I'll do it. Uh, just let me know. So I do have some cases coming in. I have a total of, I think like six cases coming in, which is really cool. I have some from Gamile. I am going to leave by one somewhere over there. I have some from Kavaj coming if you've been with the channel for a while. Uh, and yeah, I'm excited for the gates that this is going to open. So the Note 4 was great because it allowed me to do case reviews and stuff like that. And getting a new phone is like a whole new wave of case reviews. So expect some case reviews in the near future. And yeah.